Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about heat transfer. This heat is a form of energy. In this next applications of heat transfer. First one is evaporation. Next distillation, drying, crystallization, sterilization. Heat is a form of energy and its applications are in, it is used in evaporation. Means heat supplied to convert, heat supplied to convert liquid to vapor. Form example, vegetable extract. Next, distillation means heat supplied to a liquid mixture. Heat supplied to a liquid mixture for converting liquid to vapor and individual vapor components are condensed to other place. Individual vapor components are condensed to other place. Example, steam distillation. So this is about distillation, liquid mixture. Heat supplied to a liquid mixture for converting liquid to vapor and those individual vapor components are condensed to other place. Example, a steam distillation and drying. Drying means heat passed through a carrier bed of wet solid. Heat passes to a carrier bed of wet solid for achieving drying. Next, crystallization means saturated solution. Saturated solution are heated to bring about supersaturation to bring about super saturation which promotes crystal crystallization which promotes crystallization of a drug next sterilization sterilization of pharmaceuticals by using autoclave autoclaves are used with steam as a heating medium here the heat uh, uh, in this, we are using steam as a heating medium for sterilization process. Okay, these are the applications of uh, heat transfer. It is used in uh, evaporation, distillation, drying, crystallization and sterilization. Next, coming to the mechanism of heat transfer. The main mechanism involved in this heat transfer is... Mechanism of heat transfer. The main mechanism is conduction, convection, and radiation. There are three mechanisms of heat transfer those are conduction, convection, and radiation. In this, um, heat flow from a region of high temperature to low temperature. Heat flow from a region of high temperatures to a region of low temperatures. This let us see, let us discuss about conduction. In this the heat flow, heat flow in a body is achieved by 
heat flow in his body is achieved by transfer of momentum of transfer of momentum of individual atoms or molecules without mixing transfer of uh, momentum of atom individual atoms or molecules without mixing example of uh, conduction is flow of heat transfer through a metal shell flow of heat transfer through a metal shell of a boiler takes place by conduction the flow of heat through a metal shell of a boiler is takes place by a conduction uh, no mixing is involved no mixing is involved that is about this is about the conduction and next convention convention means heat flow is achieved by actual mixing heat flow is achieved by actual mixing of uh, warmer portions to colder portions of the same material example heating of water by a hot surface heating of water by a hot surface like winds and sea breezes okay this is in this conduction there is no mixing is involved convention heat flow from uh, heat flow is achieved by actual mixing of warmer portions to colder portions of the same material next coming to the radiation radiation heat flow through a space by means of heat flow through a space by means of electromagnetic waves by means of electromagnetic waves by means of electromagnetic waves example black surface absorbs most radiation achieved by it next let us see about conduction okay conduction means heat can flow only when there is a temperature gradient heat can flow only when there is a temperature gradient heat flows from hot surface to heat flows from hot surface to cold surface means we can express like a equation rate is equals to driving force driving force divided by resistance rate is equals to driving force divided by resistance as temperature increases greater will be the rate of flow in this the flow of heat flow of heat depends on conductivity of materials conductivity of materials through which it is flowing example through which it is flowing example conduction of heat is faster is faster through iron rod compared to iron rod than wooden log conduction of heat is faster in iron rod compared to that of wooden log okay this the term resistance this resistance rate is equal to driving force by resistance that resistance can be expressed by
It's browsed by Fourier's law. In this, resistance is equals to thickness of the surface. Thickness of the surface expressed in meters m divided by mean proportionality constant. Mean proportionality constant. Watt per meter units into area of surface that resistance is equal to thickness can be expressed as l divided by mean proportionality constant k m and area of surface a so this is the formula for resistance according to fourier's law the resistance can be expressed by using fourier's law and the resistance is equals to thickness of the surface uh, divided by mean proportionality constant uh, that is expressed in watt per meter and area of the surface is meter square. Okay, those are the units and uh, those uh, resistance is equals to thickness of the surface denoted by L divided by mean proportionality constant is denoted by Km and area of the surface A. Okay, thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.